The following story has been brought to you by storiestoinspire.org. I just had this chus literally yesterday to make a certain video. Now, there is someone who has finished a video on Rav Nosson Tzvi Finkel. All of you know Rav Nosson Tzvi was just the most incredible human being. He's a person who grew up in Chicago. If you would take a look at his yearbook, that's my favorite picture of all pictures. One of my favorite pictures. You take a look at him, he's got a nice chup. He's a basketball player. He's a tall, handsome guy. He's a president of the student council, head of the basketball team. And he became the greatest Russian yeshiva who built the biggest yeshiva in the world. He was a regular American boy. As a matter of fact, I know people who were in his class. They used to call him Nady. Nelson Tzvi was Nady. His father was a caterer. He was a regular guy, just like all of us. Just like everybody else in America. And now, after he passed away, and he was so beloved by his Talmudim, he was so beloved by all who knew him. So they made this fabulous video. The video is about 50 minutes. And they asked me if I would watch the video and then just make another video that's going to follow that and say to everyone who has watched this video, what do we learn from what we just saw in these 50 minutes about the life of Rav Nassim Tzvi? And on that video was something that he told me personally. Now, I have, Baruch Hashem, two sons, both of them learned in Mir. Two of my three sons-in-laws learned in Mir. So every time I went to Mir, I always went to speak to Rav Nassim Tzvi. And he was very, very warm to me, like he was to everybody else. I'll never forget, one Shabbos morning, I was davening in Yishalayim. <laughs> and he invited me. He said, why don't you come with me to Ki- for Kiddush? We'll come to my son-in-law's house. We'll have Kiddush together. We had davened someplace in Ramat Eshkol. I come to the house. And he starts telling me this story, how he became who he became. He was a high school boy. And one day his Zadie said to him, I want to take you to Eretz Yisrael. I'm going to take you on a trip to Eretz Yisrael. I want you to meet my brother. That's what his Zadie, Rab Nassim Tzvi, said to him. Who was his Zadie's brother? Rab Leza Yudel Finkel, the Rosh Hashiva of Mir. Well, he comes to Mir and he meets this big tzaddik. And this big tzaddik falls in love with his great nephew. And he just cannot get over him, and he, and, and he sees that this kid has a future. How Rabbi Lazy Yudel saw it, it's impossible to know. This was a regular American boy, and he said to him, you must come back when you graduate high school. You've got to come back. First of all, he wanted him to stay, but he couldn't stay, and he said, you've got to promise me you're going to come back. And sure enough, after high school, he told me. His mother offered him a white Cadillac if he didn't go to Eretz Yisrael. Rabbi Nassim Tzvi told it to me. That's not on the video. He told me that his mother, was. she didn't want that he should go back to Eretz Yisrael. Because she knew if he goes, he's never coming back. She's a wonderful lady, Mrs. Sarah Finkel. I can't say I'm a good friend, but we're very, very friendly. I always go to see her. We email. She's, she's incredible. But she let him go. Now listen to this. He was coming from Chicago. He certainly didn't have the level of learning that they had in Mir. So he told me that Rabbi Leza Yudel got for him three Rebbe's. Each of the Rebbe's learned with him, listen to this, the first 60 blot in Baba Kama. Each of the Rebbe's learned it with him twice. So those first 60 blot of Baba Kama from the beginning till Merubah, he learned six times, two times with each Rebbe. Then Rab Nassim Tzvi says on the video, which he told me, that besides those six times, he chazered it seven times. So he learned the first 60 blot of Bava Kama 13 times. He says on the video, Bava Kama to him was one of his easiest mesechtas. Of course, if you'd learned something 13 times, you'd also know it backwards and forwards. But what's not on the video and what he told me was the most incredible thing. He said this was one of the changing points of his life. Rabbi Leiz Yudel wanted that he should stay in his house and sleep in his house because he didn't want him to be in the regular dormitory with all the boys that were on a much, much higher level than him. He knew that he would get there eventually, but right now he wanted him in his home. So he told me that he was sleeping and then he got up and he saw that Rabbi Leiz Yudel is getting up to learn. Now Rabbi Leiz Yudel didn't realize that Nassim Tzvi was up. So he was there in his shirt sleeves and he sees, Rabbi Nassim Tzvi sees now Rabbi Leiz Yudl goes over to the shelves of the Svarim and he puts his hands around the Svarim and he bends down and he kisses them and he says, good morning. He said, that Abbas that love of Svarim, that love of Shas that Rabbi Leiz Yudl felt that he didn't know his great nephew was watching it. He said, when I saw, that's how my great 
uncle starts his day kissing the swarm, embracing them and saying good morning, I'm going to be a Ben Torah for the rest of my life. But you know what I can't get over is the Hazara aspect of it. That's what I think is one of the things that we have to learn. You know, Rabbaran Kotler writes in the Mishnah's Rabbaran from the Vilna Goin that this is such an important element of Avasatayra. If you love something, you want to retain it. And he writes, Kamoisha Kosov Agrob and Mishlei Kamapaamim, Kitoiv Sheyoida Alboirov. It's better that a person should know Mesechtes Achodes. It's better you should know a few Mesechtes very well. Mishiel Moid Harbei Velo Yoda. That the person has learned so much, but he really doesn't know it. He doesn't retain it. It's better to learn one Mesechta ten times. Like Abnasatzi, and it becomes yours. And that's really what Avasat Torah is. If you love something, you want it to become part of you. And it could only become part of you through Hazara. And maybe that's one of the things that we have to develop in these 49 days as we come towards Shavuos. The Avasat Torah to retain the Torah. Not only learning. Of course, it's exciting always to learn new stuff. But if you learn something over and over and each time you see something new and it becomes part of you, that's what Rav Nassim Tzvi wanted. That's how he became as great as he became. And that's what Rab Aaron is telling us. That's what the Goyen did as well. Enjoyed this story? Come again. Bring a friend. Stories to inspire.org.